It's round two now, and our experts have seven questions to choose from, ranging in difficulty from one to seven. But those $7 questions are really tough. Each expert will answer two questions, and they can either answer or push. But if they push and their opponent gets it right, their opponent gets the money. So you can't lose any money in this round, but if you play it smart, you'll keep your opponents from making much money. And now we go to you, Alex. Hey. You have the lowest score. We're going to start with you. Why don't you take a swipe? Let's see. Uh, so one the $1 question. Dollar. So you can either answer this one Ooh. or you can pass it to someone you don't want so to do tempting. well. So uh, tempting. I'm going to push it down to Jessa. Oh, Jessa, uh, you get to answer your You're $1 not. question. Not sorry. It's smart, strategic, little pony Good play. Good play. play, pony. <laughs> Who, Thanks, Jessa, does Professor Brony. Walsh create? Adam. A dollar in your wallet. Look at that. <laughs> Look at You're that. Welcome. So disappointed. <laughs> Uh, oh, sorry. But you know what? You get to swipe now. Oh, excellent. All right. Uh, swipey. The $5 question. You want to keep it, answer it, or pass it to one of your friends? You know, I will keep it. Keep it. This is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This is the $5 question. Aside from Sunnydale, what is the only other named location sitting atop a Hellmouth? Oh, um, the beautiful metropolis of Cleveland, Ohio. You got it. Five dollars. You're done for the round. You'll still Very swipe, nice. but no more questions for you. Stephen, let's take a swipe. It's the seven dollar question. The hardest question on the board. You can answer it or you can pass it to Alex. You throw it to the brownie. Alex, <laughs> back to your little pony here. Could be a bad move. Come on, little saddle. pony. What is the name, Alex, of Diamond Tiara's great grandfather? Great grandfather. Great grandfather. Oh man, this is wrong, but I don't know the right one. So I'm just gonna go with Filthy Rich, which is her father. Oh, you missed it. It's his brother, Stinkin' Rich. Stinkin', Stinkin Rich, Rich is the great grandfather. I prefer just Rich. <laughs> well, uh, a good play by you, uh, Stephen. Uh, Alex, Very you take funny. a swipe right now. Sure. Let's see what's next. Uh... The six dollar question. Yes. You can answer it, or you can pass it to Stephen. Four's pass left, it, three's it, left. Pass it. Or keep it, whichever you want to do. <laughs> you yeah. have some options. I do have some options. What do you want to do here? Uh, I'll pass it. You're going to pass it. So, Stephen, we go to the $6 question. Let's do it. In classic country music, I want to ask you, Stephen, when Dolly Parton's 9 to 5 became the biggest selling single in country music history in 1980, what 1968 mega hit did it knock out of the top spot? I'm going to say, I don't know this. I'm going to say Ring of Fire. It's a Hillary Clinton classic, Stand By Your Man. <laughs> it's the $3 Three. question. Who's getting it? Steven. Steven, $3, country okay. music. In Bobby Gentry's crossover hit, Ode to Billy Joe, what was the calendar date of another sleepy, dusty Delta day? Um. Three dollar question. I know. It should, <laughs> this should be like an eight dollar question. Um, uh, um, I'm gonna say it was uh, January first. It was. You should have known this because it's the three dollar question. I know. It was the third of June. The third of June. So why don't you take a swipe uh, for me, Stephen? This question is going to Alex. And it is the $4 question. Alex, the category is My Little Pony. Can Friendship is magic. The question, what is scenario. Rainbow Dash's signature move in which she flies fast enough to break the sound barrier? The sonic rain boom. And you, my friend, get $4 rain right boom. there. We're going to be back with boom. round three rain very boom. shortly.